Hey y'all, Frank Burke Productions here. I thought I'd do a video comparing a couple of 9 inch fans to a 9 inch pedestrian signal. Yes, this is a full size 9 inch pedestrian signal that I own. And the fan right here, this is a Living Solutions 9 inch high velocity fan. Right here is a 9 inch Massey box fan. All three of these work, the pedestrian signal as you can see works, it's actually currently cycling. First we have the Living Solutions fan. This is the back of it. The uh, It's got three blades, as you can see. The uh, controls, uh, you start, it starts off in low and then it goes up to high from uh, where you turn it on. So, for example, this turns it on to low. Medium. And then high. I'm gonna let it ride high for a bit. So, as you can see, it's crunching, and I'm gonna focus this guy real quickly. And uh, now, back off. Slip that guy spin down. And then we have the pedestrian signal, which just switched over to walk. And if you are just to get one of these and wire it up directly with like a lamp cord, I actually wouldn't do this. You have to have a controller for it to cycle like it is. But, I'm gonna, but the pedestrian signal I own before I open it up, now it's swapped over to the clearance phase where it's just flashing the don't walk. The pedestrian signal was made by Eagle Alusig. The Senkly Eagle brand, but it was under the ownership of Gulf, the Gulf and Western Company who branded Eagle into two different companies one of which was called uh, Durasig which made polycarbonate signals which are essentially plastic like this fan right here and the other was called Alusig which made aluminum signals and right there you can see the Eagle Thunderbird logo not very well because the lighting is not the best and right down here is the Alusig label and then it's got the same thing on the bottom and the difference between the 8 inch and Durasigs and Alu Sigs is that the 8 inch Alu Sigs have a little bump along each side, whereas the 8 inch Durasigs don't. 12 inch Alu Sigs and Durasigs have some differences too, but I won't get into those here. But I'm going to open up the signal real quickly. So, I think it's I think this cleared. I'll see if it does. If it doesn't, then I can just move the Living Solutions scan out of the way. Open up the thumb screws. Oh, dang it, this one. There we go. Yep, it clears it. All right here's the inside of the signal. As you can, if you were to wire it directly up, you'd. No, uh, this probably had to be wired up in the field. With the exception of these wires up here, which are the. which go up to the controller, which is what's making it cycle to T2 from lights to go. There's the terminal block. You'd have three leads going in, of course, and then you'd have the three leads going out. And then right over here is how you how the maintainers for a yeah pedestrian signal for these pedestrian for their signal the sig pedestrian signals access the bulb. And sorry about this, I did not expect it to go to the clearance right when I pulled out the bulb. But it's a lunar white bulb. So it's got blue tint, well, purple tint when it's off. And this is designed for the, the uh, bulb mounting was also used on the first generation Durasig signals, which had door mounted reflectors like this. And something interesting to note about both the Durasig and Alusig pedestrian signals is that. Both the, the Durasig and Allusig pedestrian signals, the square lens adapters, which are the parts sticking out from the doors, are both plastic because they, they used both of the yeah, same lens housings for them. And then right over here we have the Massey 9 inch box fan. The control for the speed control right here is on the front. Right there you can see it says Massey. And here's the back of it. That's the motor. This guy's got an all plastic frame. I think the blades are plastic too. I haven't opened it up to see. The only probably the only parts of this that aren't plastic are the wiring and motor. 
but here's but it's got a similar speed set up to the Living Solutions 9 inch fan. This is low. This is medium. And then this is high. So as you can see it's quite interesting. And these are all about the same size. If I put it in front of the 9 inch dog loose egg, as you can see, it's about the same size as the, nine, as the lenses on the 9 inch dog loose egg pad are. So, and by the way, pad is short for pedestrian signal, for those of you who do not know that. So, yeah, here we have the. And I'm going to turn this guy off now. So, yeah, here we have the comparison of uh, two 9 inch fans and a 9 inch alu sig pedestrian signal. That fan's a Living Solutions fan, that's a 9 inch Massey box fan, and that right there in the center is the 9 inch alu sig pedestrian signal as you can see. So yeah, comparison of two 9 inch fans with a 9 inch uh, pedestrian signal. Over and out.